Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can switch the range of data cells that are being used by a chart. If you accidentally selected the wrong range of cells when you first created the chart, or if you later want to switch the data that is being shown in a chart that you have already created, it can be helpful to note that you can switch the data shown in a chart without having to create a new chart object. To change the data that's being plotted by a chart, select the chart or chart element. Then select the Select Data button that appears in the Data button group within the Design tab of the Chart Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. Doing this will open the Select Data Source dialog box. You use this dialog box to select which cells in your worksheet contain the data and labels that you want to plot in your chart. In the Chart Data Range text box, you will see a range reference to the cells that have been selected for the data. To change the data range, you can click the Collapse Expand Dialog Box button at the right end of the Chart Data Range text box to collapse the dialog box. Now you should be able to view the selected cells within the worksheet which appear in the worksheet with a blinking marquee encircling them. To select a new data range, click and drag over the cells in the worksheet that contain the new data that you want to show within the chart. Then click the Collapse Expand Dialog Box button again to show the Select Data Source dialog box. You can then just click the OK button to chart the newly selected data using the same chart. You can also use the Select Data Source dialog box to edit and modify the legend entries and axis labels used by the chart. To do this, open the Select Data Source dialog box again by clicking the Select Data button within the Data button group on the Design tab of the Chart Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon. Within this dialog box, You'll see the Legend Entries or Series section over at the left side, and you'll see the Horizontal Category Axis Label section at the right side. Also note that you can switch the column and row data from your selection by simply clicking the Switch Column Row button to switch what data is being shown where within the chart. In the Legend Entry or Series section, you can click the Add button to add another series to your chart. In the Edit Series dialog box that appears, you can click into the Series Name text box and then click the worksheet cell that contains the value that you want to use as a label for the series. Alternately, you can just type a name for the series directly into the text box provided. You can then click into the Series Values text box and then click and drag over the cells in the worksheet that contain the values that you want to display in the series. If needed, you can use the Collapse Expand dialog box buttons to assist you in selecting the cells. Once you've added the necessary cell references, just click the OK button to add the series to the list shown in the Legend Entries or Series list. Also, you can edit a selected series in the list to change its title or the cells referenced by the series. To do this, just select the series within the Legend Entries or Series list that you want to change, and then click the Edit button within the Legend Entries or Series list. As when adding a new series, the Edit Series dialog box appears. You can change the cell references shown in either the Series Name or Series Values text boxes, just as you would if creating a new series. Once again, when finished, just click the OK button to change the series and return to the Legend Entries Series list within the Select Data Source dialog box. Now to delete a series shown within the Legend Entries or Series list within the Select Data Source dialog box, click on the name of the series within the list that you want to remove. 
Then click the Remove button in this section to remove the series from being plotted within the chart. Note that this will not delete or otherwise affect the cells used by the series. It simply removes them from the data that's being charted. If you wish to change the order in which the series are plotted within the chart, start by selecting the series whose position you wish to change from the Legend Entry or Series list within this dialog box. Then you can click the small Move Up and Move Down arrows in the Legend Entries or Series list to change the order of the selected series within the list. Over to the right, in the Horizontal or Category Axis Labels section of the Select Data Source dialog box, you can change which cells are used for the axis labels within your chart. To do this, just click the Edit button in the Horizontal Category Axis Labels section to open the Axis Labels dialog box. Here you can select the cell range that is shown in the Axis Label Range text box if needed and then click and drag over the cells in your worksheet that contain the axis labels. You can use the Collapse Expand dialog box button if needed. Once you've selected these cells, just click the OK button to return to the Select Data Source dialog box. If you wish to set how the chart interprets hidden and empty cells that appear within your data range selection, you can click the Hidden and Empty Cells button in the lower left corner of the Select Data Source dialog box. In the Hidden and Empty Cell Settings dialog box that appears, you can choose the display of empty cells by selecting the desired option from the Show Empty Cells As section. You can show them as gaps in a line, zero value points in a line, or you can connect data points with a line. Once you've set your choice, you can check or uncheck the Show Data in Hidden Columns or Rows checkbox as desired. This defaults to being unchecked, which hides the display of data in hidden columns and rows from your chart. You can check it if you wish to display that information within your chart. Once you've set your choices for the display of hidden and empty cells, just click the OK button to return to the Select Data Source dialog box. Once you've finished using the Select Data Source dialog box, just click the OK button to apply your changes to your data chart. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.